So guys, welcome back to another Matchday vlog. We've got St. Patrick's Athletic and Dujalange from Luxembourg in the Conference League qualifier. Pats obviously lost 2-1 in the first leg. And if we're honest, they got away with one, didn't they? Um, they were lucky to lose 2-1. Very lucky. Could have been 2-0, really, with Doyle's goal at the end. Or could have been more, to be honest, with Linus kept them in it as such. And it was a really poor performance by Pats in that match, if we're honest about it. And I'm sure they'll know that as well. The fact that they know they got away with a 2-1 might inspire them for the second leg, I'm hoping, at Richmond Park. Um, obviously, the results in Europe haven't been great in general. I'm hoping Dundalk and Derry do well tonight as well. Um, but yeah, Pats will be looking for that Richmond Park inspiration um, and the crowd to lead them here and you know I'd like to think I do think they might be up for in terms of putting in a performance because they didn't play well in the first leg this could go all the way I think I, I do feel confident Pats might get through somehow it could be 1-0 winning penalties or something like that whatever but I, I just have a feeling they might do it I think they underperformed in the first leg so I'm really looking forward to it now guys so we'll see you in there <laughs>
Talking about these games, guys, pretty much straight after the final whistle. Sometimes you need a day or two to let things digest, particularly in the games like this where I finished Pats 2, Dujal on 3 on the night, Pats going out. Um, I'd say for the neutral, it was an entertaining game. There was a lot of opportunities for both sides. Dujal on could have been 4 0 up, if I'm honest, before Pats even scored in bizarre fashion uh, in terms of Pats um, <laughs> scoring. It was one of the strangest OGs I've ever seen in my life. Just uh, deflected clearance up in the air. The keeper comes out and <laughs> proceeds, to, I still think it's funny, proceeds to head the ball back into his own net. And uh, it got Pats back into the game. It was a really bizarre goal. Um, Dujalon, to, to be honest, at that point, every time they came forward, it looked like they were going to score. Every time. And Pats were defending poorly as well. Um very poorly actually to be honest um there was a long time doing an awful lot to get in you know that kind of way i suppose then pats improved later on in the half and had some opportunities Connor carty in particular well, it was safe by the keeper he did very well carty played really well actually to be honest up front and he held the ball up well and he ran the channels well he got crosses into the box he another cross into the box where timmermans comes on to it and for some reason doesn't manage to actually get a shot away um, so Carty was really good there um, I think Pats really showed the start of Sam Curse's right back I said it last week and now I know the problem centre half I get that and starting Murphy in midfield the two of them came on the second half and we just looked better balanced um, Norman came on more of him later I suppose but um, Murphy was really good when he came on as well and put Pats 2-1 up with, it, with a good goal as well and at that point Pats were in the incendency, they were the dominant side that thought they had Dujalon on the rack. And at this point, Dujalon didn't look up to much. Uh, it looked like, for me, Pats were going to get a third goal. I didn't even think it was going to go to extra time. I honestly thought Pats were going to get a third goal. And look, an awful mistake again. And unnecessary. I mean, you can talk about this, that and the other, but opposition and that. But, you know, you give the ball away very cheaply in, in the midfield area. If it's not on, you just don't give it. You either play it long, if you have to play it long, or you play it back to the keeper. Um, and unfortunately, Norman gets himself in all kinds of trouble. Then he decides to dive in 
and all of a sudden it's um a four and one, four and two type situation. Dujan on score, make it two two, and we gave them the goal. Um and all that momentum at two one up died pretty much. Um we're still in the game, but it died pretty much. They got a man sent off late on. Um we changed our shape. We made too many changes for me. You can make changes, that's fine. You can change your shape, formation, like you can change, you can bring on subs and that. But I think we done too much too soon. We 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 changed our shape, we changed our formation, um, we brought on a lot of subs and we made a lot of adjustments in terms of players that are already on the field into different areas of the pitch, and we just completely lost any kind of shape we had. And even though we had an extra man. Um, we were getting done on the counter-attack. I'm not really sure what that was about, but I think that those changes in that short space of time killed Pats as well, if I'm honest, which is, well. Uh, look, the effort was there overall. Um, they, could, they were in with an opportunity to get through. They really were. So it's a bit disappointing. Uh, some of the defending was very, very poor. Um, but we caused problems to the Dujalan backline as well, to be fair, and... We could have went through in reality. So it's a bit disappointing. I suppose Dundalk and Derry going through for the league um, just as well, to be honest with you. Um, that, that's good news as well. But um, look, I'll leave it there, guys. Let me know what you think of the match. If you saw the match, if you're at the match, what did you think of the performance of the team overall? Um, just give me your thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.